Colorado is sending its first Latina to Congress. Historic victory for Dr. Yadira Caraveo, as her Republican challenger Barb Kirkmeyer conceded in the 8th Congressional District. The current vote count shows Caraveo, Democrat, ahead by less than a percentage point. The new 8th District was drawn to be competitive, drawn with the largest Latino population of any congressional district in Colorado. Our Steve Steger talked with Caraveo about making history. Yadira Caraveo. In the backyard of the house where she grew up in Adams County, Yadira Caraveo made history. The first Latina elected to Congress from Colorado and the first representative of Colorado's new 8th district, drawn to maximize Latino representation. The moment that I realized that I could be the first Latina congresswoman in Colorado was honestly some sadness at the fact that uh, in the state that's named in, in Spanish, that we had never had somebody who looked like me or who spoke like me. Representation is not lost on her family, especially mom. Uh, being the first Latina, oh my God, it's it's so big for me. You know? Though she admits it isn't getting her out of her daughter duties. When she gets home, she needs to get down, you know, because if there's... Humbling. Yeah, because if there's dishes to wash, you know, come on, do it, you know. Surveys of Latino voters prior to the election found they value being able to vote other Latinos into office. But pollster Gabe Sanchez says so that's often just a bonus factor for a candidate, yeah, as he finds Latino voters evaluate candidates on their positions on issues first. It's not just the easy, they've got a Z at the end of their last name, so I'm going to support them. It's often that Latino candidates like this one typically do a better job of actually outreaching to Latino voters. Doors I've knocked on and first they say, oh, you know, I can't speak to you. I, I don't speak English and I can, you know, switch over into Spanish. And um, there's a glimmer uh, in their eyes of, of hope and, and pride. An exit poll of Latino voters from a Democratic leaning pollster released today found Latino voters favored Caraveo slightly more than Democratic candidates in other House races in the state, meaning the support of the district's largest voting bloc helped her win a very tight race, also proving the Latino vote isn't as predictable as politicos make it out to be. It's not monolithic. Latinos in Colorado are very different from Latinos across the country, um, and Latinos across the 8th District are different from one another. As for her priorities, health care is going to be one of those. Remember, Yadira Caraveo is a pediatrician by trade. She says she's had a lot of conversations inside her office that can lead to policy advancements. I asked her today, Kyle, what's one pledge that you can make to voters that you can come back and say, like, hold me accountable to that. She said sure. the fact that I can listen. Got to remember, she's going to be one of 435. Yeah, one of 435 and might end up being in the minority if Republicans take the House. So there's not a whole lot she can say, I will get this done because so much is going to be out outside of her controls. It would be for anybody who is in the minority in Congress. It's interesting to hear her talk about her role in this. She says she's going to use her. Uh, her previous career as a driver in this as a doctor to say, like, I'm going to talk to people, I'm going to assess the problem and try to advocate for them. Maybe try to get some bills passed in the meantime, but we'll see what happens. Give them medicine they don't want to take. Yeah. 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 All right. Thank you, Steve.